it's the worst thing that can happen to parents. King was our only child. I cannot even describe how I feel every day. Uh, we had no idea. Everything was perfect. I said goodnight to him as we were heading to bed. Um, the last thing he said that I heard that night was, I love you too. The next morning, um, We lost Caden on January 31st of this year due to fentanyl poisoning in a pill that he thought was Percocet. Caden should have graduated from Centerville High School this past June, and he should be in college right now. Instead, he was buried on February 9th in Fairfax Memorial Park. As you know, the fentanyl crisis, this deadly fentanyl, has been taking lives all across the country and here in Fairfax County. Fentanyl is in our county, our neighborhoods, our schools. And it's important that we take some time and think about how do we come together as a community to eradicate this epidemic of deadly fentanyl. Let me begin by saying I'm terribly sorry for your loss and I appreciate you reaching out to share your story in the hopes that it will prevent such a story for any other family. Can you begin by just sharing, how did this happen? In short, um, last December, a couple of former Centerville High School students came home for winter break. Um, two of them, uh, we've learned, to had been known to use and deal drugs for years to include uh, around the Centerville High School area. Um, Caden met them uh, on December 19th, which is the first time he took a pill that he thought was a Percocet. And then six weeks later, he took a pill that killed him that was actually fentanyl. Six weeks is all it took from the first pill to the last pill for him. The police arrived, we had no idea what happened. He just looked like he'd fallen asleep. And um, police came, they, they were searching his room, searching his car, we couldn't find anything, asked us any, any medical issues, any history of alcohol, any history of drugs. I like, do no, I mean, just, we know from his friends he didn't even like alcohol and when they asked us about drugs they both were absolutely not in the back of his phone was one of those wallet sleeves and when they were pulling out his credit card and driver's license they pulled out a dollar bill and they found two pills and um they tested the pills they were fentanyl and when his blood results came back the only thing he had in the system was fentanyl As we think back, is there anything you feel like the school division or our community could have helped to do to prevent this? At the time, honestly, no, no. We had no signs. Um, I had a very close relationship with Caden. There were no signs that he was engaging in risky behavior. We were told several times, um, including the day after and multiple times since, that. We were the poster family of, if it can happen, you can happen to anyone. It seems like sometimes that we advertise these opportunities, right? And we don't have many parents come to have that conversation on how to prevent fentanyl. But in your case, there was no reason, as you mentioned it, because you felt this doesn't apply to your family. No, we, we had all the talks about drugs and we didn't think that we needed to go to one of the meetings. We were those parents that thought we were safe. Sorry. Caden was perfect in every way. He was a perfect son. He loved life. He had a big heart. He was funny. He loved his cat, PJ. He had many dreams and, and hopes, and that all ended on January 31st. One of the things that was, has been disappointing um, that we've learned through this is how many people not only knew that he, was, he had started taking um, what he thought were Percocets, uh, over that Christmas break and didn't say anything. And that is one thing 
I think that the kids have got to get past. You've got to get past being afraid of being in trouble. There's ways to come forward, you've got to. I think our young people have to understand there's more pain in not coming forward than there is in coming forward. What's the worst that could have happened? These guys that got him started on this would have had to go to drug court maybe and get some rehab done. We would have had to deal with Caden and with, with what he had started doing. And then that'd have been the end of it. Maybe some parents would be upset. But now we're in the real alternative. They have to be strong enough to say no when they find themselves in a situation where those drugs are being pushed on them. They shouldn't give in to peer pressure. Seven out of 10 pills that the DEA seizes have a lethal amount of fentanyl in them. So they have to be strong enough to say no. What would you say to parents now? Educate yourself about the risks and dangers of fentanyl specifically. We talked in general about drugs with Caden, but fentanyl is different. A very, very small amount can kill you. You've got to be afraid of this stuff. One time can do it. These pills are, are absolutely lethal. This isn't a mistake that you learn from. This is a mistake that buries you.